Great hunting is not that far away. Welcome to Illinois Outdoors. How are we doing everyone? Don DeGena here for Illinois Outdoors. Uh, glad to have you with us every Saturday and uh, I tell you, I'm kind of excited because today we are back out at Rooster Heaven Hunt Club and uh, we're going to do a little hunting. And I'm really going to enjoy today's hunt because I'm going to be hunting with a, uh, with a gentleman by the name of David June and his dog Katie, a German short-haired pointer, which I'm sure you already know that I'm kind of partial to. And uh, we're going to be hunting up some birds over here. Uh, there's a little bit of a story that's behind uh, the, today's hunt, you know, with, with Katie. And uh, you know what, uh, let me just move over here and we'll get a hold of Dave and uh, let him tell us about it. Hey Dave. How glad, you doing, Don? Glad to have you on the show today. Pleasure to be here with you. And uh, I'm glad that you uh, were able to bring Katie out here and everything else. You, tell us a little bit, what had happened with, with Katie? Well, um, a buddy of mine were out in South Dakota this year for the opener, and uh, we were hunting on the second day we were there, she tore a uh, carpal ligament in her, her front right paw. Uh-huh. And um, that, we didn't know it at the time, but as it turned out, uh, that turned out to be a pretty devastating injury for a dog. Uh, the, um, I went to four vets and uh, every one of them said that she would never hunt again. Oh no. And, uh, and you, you know being a dog guy what that means to somebody who's trained a dog and brought her up. She's eight and a half years old. She's got a lot of experience. And um, the, the procedure they wanted to do was to fuse her wrist together and uh, it would solve the problem but she would no longer be a hunting dog. So um, I looked around and I found a sports medicine vet, which I recommend anyone to keep keep looking. If you if you've got a, an athletic dog, uh, don't give up. And I was given an alternative treatment uh, by him. He works a lot on racetracks, dog tracks, um, and he has a lot of experience with hunting dogs. Mm -hmm. And he gave me a treatment uh, that involved building up scar tissue to replace the ligament in her um, in her paw. And uh, uh, a little bit of a procedure later, of, and I was able to actually finish the season, the Illinois season, hunting her uh, on wild birds. She, she's actually been out in the field. She's doing great. Uh, she runs uh, just about like she did before the accident. So basically speaking, uh, you know, the, 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 the sports medicine veterinarian that you dealt with uh, kind of proved the other guys a little wrong and uh, they were able to get your dog back out hunting you know now we're looking at some footage right now with Katie running in the field and I tell you what I I, I personally I can't tell the difference uh, whether she had an injury or not yeah she's still a big running dog and uh, you especially when she's out hunting you can't notice it at all and uh, uh, she's a little stiff afterwards but that's probably more to do with age than uh, than the injury well you know we see that with with our our dogs uh, you know wager and, and profit that uh, you know after a long day I tell you what uh, it's it's quiet around our house yeah, I, I mean because they, we're, we're looking here again uh, at, at Katie in the field she's doing really good and, and, uh, and look at there you know she, she can really get on the bird and she holds a nice point and everything else uh, I tell you what this is gonna really be kind of fun you know I I'm glad that you're able to come out I'm glad that Katie's back in the ball game and uh, I tell you what, we're going to take and uh, we're going to switch gears a little bit now and we're going to just drive out to one of the fields here at Rooster Heaven and uh, we're going to start hunting up some more birds. So hang right in there, we're going to be right back. Boulder Junction, Wisconsin is the musky capital of the world, offering you a chance at a true trophy. But Boulder Junction offers more than just musky. Fish for walleye, pike, bass, and panfish on 194 Crystal Clear Lake. Visit boulderjct.org for details. Start planning your Boulder Junction fishing trip today. If you want to catch panfish, what do you use? Cubby mini mice. 
If you want to catch game fish, what do you use? Cubby mini mites. You gotta love them. And for Lake Michigan perch? Boy, when you want to catch perch like this, you gotta go to Cubby mini mites. Cubby mini mites. They make the difference between fishing and catching. Hi, I'm Neil Miller, communications manager at Braywood Generating Station. Uxalon is really proud of its cooling lake here in Braywood, and it's one of the best fishing spots in all of northern Illinois. Exelon has assisted the Illinois DNR in management of the lake with stocking programs and placements of artificial habitats for many years and is making Braywood Lake a great fishery. The lake offers public fishing for bass, catfish, and bluegill. With Braywood Lake being less than 30 minutes from the suburbs, that means great fishing is not that far away. Hi, I'm Roger Wright, Pro Stepper for the Fishing and Outdoor Radio Show. Tune us in on Wednesday night, 6.30, on one of these fine radio stations. Good job, man. That was a good bird. Yeah. Good point. I'll tell you what, you want to talk about these birds tight and tight, tight in the cover. That held. This guy wasn't moving. You had to kick him up to get him to come out. You know, 
Nice bird, beautiful color. Look at a nice long tail on him and everything else. Yeah. Gorgeous. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me that bird, I'll put him in the back and uh, we'll go get another one. Okay, let's do it. Hold on. Oh, you want to put it in my back? Your back. Okay, I thought you were going to take that one. I'll take the next one. Okay. I'll take the next one. Good job. All right, let's go get another one. Let's go out this way. Well, we're doing pretty good. We got a couple of birds already. Uh, this is our third one, and uh, they're running, as you can see. You know, this is uh, the spring of the year and towards the end of the season, but they're starting to run a little bit, and it's be a little bit more difficult to get the birds. So we'll put that one in the pack. And uh, while we're doing that, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back with more of Illinois Outdoors in just a moment. Good job, Don. If you're into the outdoors, the Heritage Quarter is your close to home destination for all sorts of great outdoor activities. Did you know that the Illinois River offers great striper and sauger fishing? The Heritage Quarter also boasts excellent deer, turkey, and waterfowl hunting. Superior lodging and dining is available at the Starved Rock Lodge right at the doorstep of hiking trails, the woods, and water. Learn more of what the Heritage Quarter has to offer in the outdoors by visiting their website at www dot heritage quarter cvb dot com plan your next outdoor adventure in the heritage quarter in illinois mile after magnificent mile your favorite fishing spots can be ruined by aquatic invaders non-native species that can wreak havoc on rivers lakes and streams but you can help stop their spread with three simple steps remove drain dry 
Every time you leave a body of water, take the time to remove any plants, animals, and mud from your boat, trailer, and other equipment. Drain live wells and bait buckets and dry everything with a towel. Remove, drain, dry. Every time. When it comes to aquatic invaders, be a hero. Transport Zero. Visit TransportZero.org to learn more. Hi, I'm Janie Harpster from Janie's Flies and Custom Tackle. I make products for fishing ranging from leaders, quick sets, musky baits. This happens to be the Ramit Weedless Inline Spinner. If you're interested in looking at any of my tackle, you can go to janiesflies.com. The Niagara Falls area is America's best kept secret when it comes to the outdoors, fishing, boating, kayaking and more are all there for the outdoors enthusiast. Enjoy trophy fishing on the Niagara River, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. There are many sites to see and so much to do in the outdoors and we're here to help you plan your next vacation. Visit NiagaraUSA.com or give us a call at 1-877-FALLS-US The Niagara, New York area your next American outdoors adventure destination. What she's doing really well. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, I, I don't see any limping. Uh, there's no, there's obviously no complaining. No, no, she's huh? having a ball no out complaining here. at all. She's, she's having, having a, a good time here. getting yeah. some birds, huh? Yeah, Which, a long way from where she was earlier in the season. Yeah. Well, she's doing good, and it's, it's getting a little warm, so it's pumped up. So I think you know what we'll do. Uh, let's just get one more bird, okay. all right? Uh, I don't want to overheat the dog or anything else like that, and I want to. Get back to the to the clubhouse there, and maybe talk to them about what Rooster Heaven is all about. We're having some fun here at, at Rooster Heaven. We're getting some birds. We're at uh, I think number four. Go ahead, you can take them, put them in my backpack if you want. I think we're at number four right now. And uh, you know what's nice about being at a, at a hunt club like this is you can get several birds. You can you can get ten birds if you want, and uh, you can hunt beyond the regular season. So. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're on a day here that uh, it's, it's, it's starting to get a little bit warm. I know it's getting warm for me with this hunting vest on, and I know it's probably hunting warm for you in your jacket. So you want to find one more bird, just one more bird? Okay, let's go get them.
want to catch panfish, what do you use? Cubby mini mice. If you want to catch game fish, what do you use? Cubby mini mice. You gotta love them. And for Lake Michigan perch? Boy, when you want to catch perch like this, you gotta go to Cubby mini mites. Cubby mini mites. They make the difference between fishing and catching. For all seasons, Wildcat Lodge offers you an unequaled vacation experience with a variety of plans and options, including seasonal specials to fit your vacation desires. Enjoy tennis, swimming beach, horseshoes, basketball, nature trails, playground, and much more. Located four miles north of Boulder Junction, Wisconsin, on our three connected lakes. These are Class A musky waters with walleye, bass, crappies, and panfish. Come up, relax, enjoy, and make Wildcat Lodge a vacation memory you'll always remember. The world is a water park, and since 1950, Hobie has made the best rides. Hobie Cat is the leading manufacturer of sailboats, kayaks, fishing boats, and accessories. Two of their hottest innovations are the Hobie Mirage Drive, a no-gas required propulsion system that leaves your hands free for fishing, photography, or holding a drink, and the all-new Hobie Mirage Pro Angler, one of the world's lightest, most efficient, decked-out fishing boats in the world. Hobie, building memories with you and your family. HobieCat.com. Hi, I'm Janie Harpster from Janie's Flies and Custom Tackle. I make products for fishing ranging from leaders, quick sets, musky baits. This happens to be the Ramit Weedless Inline Spinner. If you're interested in looking at any of my tackle, you can go to janiesflies.com. Hey, welcome back to Illinois Outdoors. I'm Don DeGina here, and I am here with uh, one of the managers here over at Rooster Heaven Hunt Club, Lon Wittilla. How are you? I tell you what, having a Polish name like mine, you'd think I'd be able to say it very well? <laughs> but it actually, Wittilla is very, very, very simple. You know what? We had a great time out here hunting today at Rooster Heaven Hunt Club. And I think, what a great opportunity it is for people to come to a place like this and have the ability to go out hunting. And Tell us a little bit about Rooster Heaven. You got a lot of acreage here. We do. Uh, Patrick Harms, uh, the, the proprietor of this uh, establishment, uh, built the club in 2000. Uh, so it's been around for 13 years. We have 2,500 acres of preserve uh, made up of switchgrass, uh, mainly uh, in, in CRP land. And we have food plots within those um, preserves. You have a lot of grounds out here, and you a lot of have a, a lot of different fields within the individual preserves that are that are literally all over the area here by Forest, Illinois. So today, we know we had hunters in adjoining fields, but we never saw any of them because they were so far away. Yeah, that's the beauty of the preserve is that our fields are established; they're they're segmented off, so you're not shooting over each other and stuff. Um, I think our smallest preserve is like 30 acres. So it, it's a lot, a lot of vast land. You have a lot of land here, but you know what? Th that makes it the, the perfect place for, for a, uh, an individual or even corporate people to get involved in a membership here at the Hunt Club. What, what are the memberships like? You know, do, do they involve birds? You know, are birds included? Uh, could you buy individual birds? Tell us how that works. Yes, um, you know, the way it works is we, we have members and non-members. Uh, we'd like to have people join as members uh, as a membership, uh, you get, you get uh, birds at a discounted rate. Uh, you get preferential tr um, uh, discounted rates for staying at the lodge here. And uh, we also have a deer camp, uh, uh, so that it's reduced there as well. 
um, the bird prices are also reduced as a member. Uh, for those people that come off and don't know, you know, want to try our place, they can come out as non-members and then you pay uh, a package deal. We have a three bird package and a five bird package. My name is Brent Johnston. I've been a member here at Rooster Heaven for three years now and it's a fantastic hunt club and I would never go anywhere other than Rooster Heaven. It's so hard to find good hunting ground on private land or public land. Public land is so crowded with other hunters. Out here at Rooster Heaven, we have ample room to hunt. You're never running into another hunting group. And I bring my family, my son and daughter especially, and uh, a lot of friends out here. The pheasant hunting is phenomenal. The lodge is absolutely class act. Uh, I would encourage everybody to at least come out here and try Rooster Heaven. They have some fantastic packages. So if you get a chance, visit Rooster Heaven. I think you'll be as pleased as my family and my friends to be out here. You know, we, you know, we just heard from one of the members that was here. At, at, we'll give them a call here at Rooster Heaven. It's well worth it. Season's going to open up somewhere around the beginning of September with the dove season. That's a great opportunity. Outside of that, we've got quail, chucker, the pheasant, Hungarian partridge. You've got turkey during the turkey season, deer during the deer season. You know, it's a great place to be, Rooster Heaven Hunt Club. Well, Dave, I tell you what, we had a nice day out here. It was, it was warmer than I expected it to be. Uh, but I, I tell you what, what I was so happy to see is that, that your dog uh, was, was just doing really, really well. Yeah, yeah, she was. Uh, it, was it was a great hunt. It was great to be out here. Well, you know, I, at first, I, you know, in front of everybody here on Illinois Outdoors TV, what I want to do is I want to say thank you for everything you do. The German Short Hair Club of Illinois, uh, being involved with that, uh, I'm glad you're going to have uh, the opportunity to hunt for many years with your dog following her, her uh, mishap. But uh, it's, it's, good that, uh, it's good that she's back in the field, and I'm glad that I got to hunt with you today. Yeah, likewise. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. You know what, it's, it's a great thing to be out in a club like this, you know, again, you know, recommend it, you, you come out to Rooster Heaven, give it a try. You know, at the end of every show, I say the same thing, but uh, I, I gotta say it again anyway, great hunting is not that far away. Until next week, I'm Don DeGina, thanks for watching.